Hey guys, just wanted to talk about a couple of tools that you would need uh, when you're starting your off-grid li lifestyle. Um, these tools are pretty much a must and they make your life so much easier. Uh, first and foremost, the wheelbarrow. This thing is a pretty universal tool. I use it to transport things. When I go grocery uh, shopping, I, put, I load it up with uh, food and haul it all to the house all in one shot. When I'm building, I use it to mix the adobe and cement. Um, I use it to haul water. You can use it to haul a lot of things. Um, pretty universal tool and very important. Um, the next thing is another pretty universal tool is the pickaxe. So a lot of people think of the pickaxe and you think coal mining. Well, that's not the only thing this is used for. I use this to also mix the adobe and the cement and dig. Um, if you look behind me, you can see all these rocks. I've pulled all these rocks out of that hole. And you can't do that with just a shovel. You need a pickaxe to get in there. Um, especially when you're living in the mountains like we do. We live in the Rocky Mountains. So whenever you're digging down, you're going to find rocks. Another tool to use, this right here is a bow saw. Um, I use it as a universal saw really. Um, when I'm building I'll use it to do all the things that a hand saw will do. Um, for in the fall time I will use it to uh, cut firewood. Um, yeah, so a saw is very uh, important to have uh, because you need to cut things down to size, especially when you're building. Um, since we're on the topic of splitting firewood so I broke this last year but this is another very important tool to have um, an axe um, I just got to replace the handle here and it'll be just good as new it's a very it's a new blade it's just the handle broke anyways um, but the reason you want to have one of these is to split the firewood especially when you're uh, chopping down cheap uh, tree logs when you're building basic hand tools you're going to want to need, of course, is a hammer, a measuring tape, and your Phillips and flathead screwdriver, uh, pretty universal, um, and you're going to be using these every day pretty much when you're building. Get this out of the way. A couple other tools here, shovels. I like to have a spade and a flathead uh, shovel. This one likes to dig and this one likes to flatten things out and move the dirt a lot better than this shovel. So the, they each have their own good uses and they're both very important. Um, with these and the pickaxe, I was able to dig that hole down to the caliche layer and we'll talk about that in a different video. Rakes. You have your hard rake and your leaf rake. Um, these are very important also for clearing your pathways um, if you have a mud event and then dries up these two will help you flatten your pathways out or your driveway or whatever it is um, if you are landscaping you need to flatten the area this hard rake right here will help you do the job um, yeah so these are um, also important tools to have when you're starting off and last but not least the most important tool to have your hat and the reason this is so important is as you can see the sun's in my eye that's first of all and second of all when you're living the off-grid lifestyle you spend a lot of time outside and when you live in the southwest like we do there's a lot of sun which means a lot of UV exposure so you want to protect your skin um, and having a hat just makes your life so much easier when you're working all day in the hot sun and it makes your head a little bit cooler too so that's uh, pretty much it uh, like and subscribe.